Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create SQLite database with tool SQLite Man or also known as SQLite 3 Admin and Devil Tool. So when you search for SQLite 3 Admin Tool on Google, you will be redirected to this SQLite Man page. Once you download this zip, you can extract that and you will find this SQLite Admin executable click on it it will ask you for permission then it will open one administrator so this is the administrator dashboard you get on top you get the menu then on the right here you have three tabs sql query result and edit data so once you connect to database these three tabs get open for you then on the left hand side you have type of view available for your database so first step to do here is go to database menu and click on new or you can also open existing database okay you can also use this create database tool or you can simply open previous one so let's go with creating new here you choose the target for your database and with save as file type okay here you can choose the type of file you want to store I'm going to choose let's say employee as my database name or you can also go with let's say startup employee as your database name save the file and it will store with extension dot s3 db now you have your table uh, database generated next step is to create table so go to this create table button or you can also create table from table menu so click here and here you can create your table Okay. now let's name it employee then you have fields to select let's add one field name it ID have it integer then make it primary key and auto increment click on add and then you have one more field name it name then field type where care and then default type as none just keep it non null and add set as 25 size so you have ID name and let's say age as our third fill let's choose integer for it. not now and you have the values okay so you can add one more field let's say I want to add a phone okay you can choose the field type as integer not null again and add so these are the four fields that you have now click on create table and your table is created now if you want to add the data simply click on edit data and here you can choose the table employee and then you have option to add data here so let's add one name it alex 22 phone number some random then you add one more field by clicking on plus then you have second you have let's say shell then you have 25 H okay some phone number and let's add one more field third as arrow so I have this data too And final value four. Okay, so I'm gonna add let's say one more name with this and some phone number. Okay, so this is the data that I'm going to add. Now, if I want to put this data, simply I will click on post and it will get added. Okay, and now if I want to have a particular view, simply go to view 
then create view here you can have complete data then make SQL query ads select star from employee that's it click on create and when you double click on it you will see the result here here as you can see it is now completely adjusted with ID name and age okay now if you want to perform certain queries such as select star from employee where age is greater than 24 you can execute that as well and check the result okay simply however you can do the same with queries here or you can have it selected for a specific view as well so you choose create trigger or create index okay so you can sort that out with folders okay so that being said um, there is a few things to do like data export so when you select your database you can export particular view or import that data okay let's say i have selected result and i want to export that to excel then csv xml and html okay these are the format i can use for exporting this table i can also import data from specific set of files and target a particular table to add that data so they need to match properly so usually csv file is imported in here okay then you can send to excel so this table will be exported to dot xls file okay so these are some of the basic things you can do with uh, SQL at administrator tool and you can save your database which you can later read with Ruby, Python or C Sharp.